Yo. It's time, chat. It's time. It's time. Okay, you responded, dude. We gotta check this out, dude. <clears throat> All right, chat. You know what we're doing. You know what the fuck we're doing. You know what the fuck is up, dude. Let me make sure I'm tapped in. Oh, before we get into this, by the way, chat, I would like to say, I think I'm going to start streaming all of this, all these just chains and reactions um, on TikTok. And if they want to ban me for harassment or whatever the fuck that I say, that's fine, dude. But I realize right now I'm barely using TikTok and I should at least give it a try and see what all could happen, you know? Because if I get banned now for a week, it's like not really like I'm even losing anything because I'm mostly focused on the YouTube. All right, chat. Uh, Kay's re uh, uh, reply to what George Not Found said on her sh on his stream. And then we're going to see George's apology here. We're going to see what he has to s What is this? Oh, okay. Uh, let's... Okay. He... Oh, my God. He made a really um, short one. Okay. For now, this is what I have to say. He admitted to touching me that I was drunk, that I verbally didn't consent. In my mind, the conversation is over. He said silence does not equal consent. Yet, one... Never got verbal confirmation from me. Two, chose to move to a sexual act on the couch where everyone was hanging out without asking. This is what I, this is literally exactly what I was trying to say to those fuckers in my fucking uh in my fucking comment section, bro. Is like, yo, um never got verbal consent, but he said verbal consent matters, you know? Uh, hold on, I'm putting on some Skyrim music so it's not completely bland and I don't get copyright struck. Um. And also chose to move to, se like, did sexual shit on the couch. It doesn't matter if they were cuddling or feeling it in front of everyone, you know what I'm saying? Um. Yes, dude, yes. I can go check out the first, if you want to see it, go look at the first one. Here, I'll, I'll plug the fucking channel right now really quickly. That's the, um, the, look at the first George Not Found video on there. They were getting real pissy, dude. Uh, okay. I don't know how these two facts co coexist. How can I consent when there was no question? How can I consent when drunk? I prepared, prepared proof on the idea he wouldn't admit to it. That he would deny touching me or being there. But he admitted it. That I was drunk and he touched me in front of everyone. That I never said yes, nor did he ask. And I'm still asked for a response, proof, explanations. Frankly, I think it's fucking insane. If you still need more after hearing him admit those two simple facts, then nothing I can say is going to change your mind. But here it is. I, I mean, that's 100% true. Oh, yeah, it is, it is 100% uh, George Not Found fans that are... Um, George Not Fans... George, George Not Found fans... Just trying to have his back and, like, literally meat ride. Um. Yeah. Uh, in the comment sections. They're like, well, he, me, 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 Um, well, he, um, well, they, it took an hour for her, him to touch her inappropriately without consent, so it's different now. I hate it so much. It's okay, Link. Okay, addressing the stream. As for the iMessages he showed outside of Insta DMs, all proof was him showing a group chat he wasn't even in. Yeah, that's why I was confused. Showing messages from my friends, which isn't me. The only message showing a response from me was when we asked about the drinking game we played. That was after we played it the first night. The night where nothing happened. I liked the game and wanted to play it with other friends at the convention. So I asked for the name. Don't know how it's related to anything. Why I went back. Because my friends want... Uh, I'm going to guess wanted to. And I went with them. Everywhere they went that trip. I would also like to clear up. This all happened when I went back. Nothing happened the first night. Something I also did not admit at first because it's embarrassing and I thought irrelevant. But the second night, another reason I was willing to go back was I heard a different creator who was in the room I wanted to meet. But when I found out they had left an hour earlier, I was already in the Uber. I had forgotten this until back, looking back at the text where I said, this to a friend the day after. Wait, second night. Another reason I was willing to go back was I heard of a different creator who was... Oh, in an Uber to get there. Okay. I was like, in an Uber? You were already leaving? Yo, what's up, uh, Fofubby? How you doing? Yes. Yes, it is Katie Bugs. Yes. Yo, what's up, the penguin? Uh, Yo, the penguin. What's up, homie? Wait, war is it warrior? Spelled weird? <laughs> How's it going? Welcome in. 
Well, yo, Fofo B, welcome into the stream, dude. Is this your first time in here? Uh, okay. Oh, here it is. But Blank brought me and Ghosty back the dr to Dream's room to see him. He said Blank was there too with some other people. So I was excited because I was I always wanted to get to know Blank Blank. Oh, Blank Blank. I left right before we showed up. So I, so it's just Dream and George. And then we show up anyways. And I'm like, fuck. Okay. Drinking games, etc. Ghosty leaves to throw up. Then it's like four. They were drinking so much they were throwing up then it's like four of us and we are all drunk and it was honestly really weird because i was just drunk and too tired to comprehend what was happening but we were up until 6 30 a.m bro there's still time to redeem yourself delete the video and show you're not a, a cloud chaser like average harry rue and amesley who just for the views and clickbait people, motherfucker is on George's cock, dude. That's what I'm saying. And then he's like, "Oh, you just want you just want clout." I'm like, "Or you just want views?" I'm like, "Yes, yes, that is good for YouTube channels." And I did, in fact, upload two parts. And now this will be the third part. So yeah, I I'm not gonna lie, the YouTube comments have been getting to me, dude. Um, because like I've never had so many people literally just shit on me for sharing my opinion on things and directly like attack me so quickly. Other than the Ben Shapiro thing. And the thing is, is not only were they shitting on me, but they were also shitting on a victim. So I felt doubly bad. First time, I feel like there's a new controversy every week. Dude, uh, there's been a new controversy every day, bro. It's been crazy. Actually, I think there's been like multiple in one day. Um, It's been interesting. I've been sharing my opinions about this shit with chat. And it's all just been a really good time talking about it. So, uh, yeah. I mean, not a good time, but I don't know. I like sharing it. I like talking to chat, seeing their opinions. And it also does well on YouTube. So... Yeah, I, I like to uh, catch up on what's new. Um, Fofubi, how'd you find the stream if you don't mind me asking? Also, what kind of games do you like? Bro, half of those comments are just delusional body language can be consent. The fuck you mean? Yeah, literally. Oh boy, I can already tell people in the comments are going to be like, oh, she went back to meet a creator. That's her fault. Yeah, dude, literally victim blaming. They're literally going to victim blame. Anyways, into DMs. They were all fine. Like I said in my stream, I did have my age in my bio like it is to this day. The messages were nothing insane, just banter. Like I said, I admitted to messaging him after. I never hid the fact. I never hid the fact. I was still considering myself lucky for what happened to me, even if I was uncomfortable, and I and didn't ask for it. I was hating myself around now, thinking I was ungrateful, but as you can see, nothing insane or proof were the just being said, just banter. I hope you got lost. I hope your elevator fucking plummeted as soon as you stepped in it. I'm so sorry for the bad news, but it didn't, and I made it back so easily and slept so well. Try harder to die next time. Oh, so you better start being nice to me. If you come to Dreams Hotel again tonight, I'm shooting your leg, so don't. Oh, awkward. I'm in his room now. You're not going to do shit. Throw a wet tampon at you. It worked. Thank God. Never message me again. Can't believe you already missed me. Why are you so busy? Surely you have time for me. You're a pop. You're not a popular guy. So, she had. Oh, wait! When was the night of the party? So, she had. Yo, does this. Okay, I might be wrong here. Does this disprove. Does this disprove him being like, I didn't know her age? She had a 21 plus wristband? If she had her age in bio. Dude, this is. Dude, this is one of the things that, like, literally, I check my homies on whenever they like are interested in a girl i'm like yo and usually they check themselves um they check their age and their bio literally immediately literally immediately to make sure that they are uh, like of age or around the same age as them yes 100 oh my god one of your youtube videos got randomly recommended to me oh my god on my feed and i found you found i enjoy your content quite a bit yo dude that's so fucking sick bro fufubby I think you're like the fourth person to hop in here tonight um, and say that, like something along those lines. And that makes me so insanely happy, dude. Like, you don't even know. Um, like, I, I, I'm I, so fucking happy. I've been trying so hard on that YouTube channel recently. Thank you so fucking much. You remember what video it was? Um, and yeah, thank, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you, like, literally more than I can put into words. Wait, so she had a 21 plus wristband? I'm so lost. Yeah, that was the argument from George Not Found. She had a 21 plus wristband that they got uh, from somebody at the event. But here, he's talking to her on Instagram. 
after the first night, and in her bio, it has her age before anything sexual happened. So she, he now knows that she's 18, and they're still giving her alcohol. I hope you got lost. I hope you're... Okay, let me... Um, okay. So, let's go to here. This is about where I was. Sorry, I got distracted. Why are you so busy? Surely you have time for me. You're not a popular guy. I have time, just not f for you. And I'm a popular guy. Ask any girl you know. I don't know any girls. Why don't you have time for me? What the fuck? I can tell. Again, I felt lucky to be talking to a verified account, someone famous, someone I had followed and watched for a while. I was uncomfortable with what happened, but trying to swallow it and suck it up so I didn't have to acknowledge or accept it. Although our text texting ended a month after, I can see why people find me at fault. But the thought process of someone who went through what I have is a very unique experience, which is why I understand why it seems stupid. Only so many people have been in it to understand it. I mean, bro, listen, in my own personal life, I look back in a relationship and realize that, uh, like, I was not in fully control of a situation. Nothing as serious as this, but it took me a while. For a while, I just joked about it and, made, like, wrote it off as a joke. I was like, oh, yeah, haha, that was funny. But really, after I thought about it a lot and thought about how I felt and how I felt in the moment, I realized that, it, like, it was not okay, you know? So, like, I realized where she's coming from here. Um, Yeah. I don't remember off the top of my head, but it was something to do with one of these conversations. I think keep up the grind, brother. Yo, Fubby, thank you so fucking much, homie. I appreciate you. Yeah, these videos have been doing really well. Uh, I feel kind of bad because they're so negative. You know what I'm saying? For the most part, just covering what people are going through. But I feel like we do have a good conversation and shed light on a lot of things. And that makes me happy that they're doing well. Um... Yeah, and I hope that they can be used for good. And also, while helping grow this channel, which is sick. Like, you coming over here. And I'm glad that you found it enjoyable. And uh, didn't think I was mad annoying. By the way, Nightbot linked it before I could. Feel free to hop in our Discord if you want to know whenever I'll be live. It's also just a cool place to hang out. And also where uh, chat links me videos and stuff to react to. Can George die already? What the fuck is this shit? This is so fucked. Miss me already? Kiss the bricks and jump, prick. <laughs> Yo. Dude. Ugh. His response to this is actually so funny. Wait, for real? Okay. So, yeah, still not okay. Yeah. Uh, Why is George such a weird fucking twink bitch? <laughs> Whoa. Let's not... Okay, let's not throw uh, my favorite subgenre, twink, into the fucking uh, fire here, okay? Wait. What would Derek from Teen Wolf be? The subgenre to the subgenre. Um, look through all the YouTube contents, comments. Yes, Iron King. Yes. What, what, what do we think? I'm a lot more angry tonight. I want to apologize. Sorry. Oh, you're good, Austin. Nah, dude. It, it's fair to be mad about this shit. Uh, like I said, I tried to convince myself for years that I shouldn't, should have enjoyed what happened to me because other people enjoyed their consensual experiences. She even said she tried to convince herself to be grateful for it. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Shit, shit is really, really, really hard. Um. Yeah, and I think people like being like, well, you you, you did this because you fucking were flirtatious with him and Instagram DMs have a lack of empathy, you know? Uh, again, like he said, at one point, he asked for my snap. There are good ones. Also, I guess messaging lame. Oh, IG messaging lame. What's your snap? But we did not Snapchat much at all because I don't use Snapchat. I haven't since around middle school when I found George Not Found. Um, sorry. I haven't <laughs> since around middle school. The most that happened were a few pictures of him with a quesadilla, uh, that he sent me. And then I resorted back to DMs, which didn't last long. The time we all stopped interacting was around Paris TwitchCon. I walked him out to the elevator. Question, question, question. We left at the same time. My room was on the other side of the floor in the hotel. You had a hallway of rooms on one side and elevators connecting them. Then the other hallway. I was on the opposite side, therefore had to walk through the elevator room. I didn't walk him there. We both headed in that direction. I said, well, bye. And that's when he did the whole elevator is broken bit. God, the more I hear about this, the more I hate myself for liking them. Fuck me for like, hey, it's okay, Link. You don't, you don't know. You know, they portrayed a character. You know? They portrayed a character in a... In their content. So you can't really beat yourself up for it. Remember guys. It took an hour. And in the movies. They didn't ask to kiss. Nerd emoji. Yeah literally dude. Derek's a hunk he is dude. Like how the fuck. Do you confidently comment shit like that. Literally. Well I'm going to point out. The obvious. 
the people in the comments are just blinded by the fact that they watched him for a long time and don't want to believe that he's a bad person. Yes, absolutely. And that's the thing. And also, I probably shouldn't have gone at them as hard as I did, right? Because realistically, like, nothing that I say is going to matter. But, I, dude, I was so mad when I woke up today and had, like, fucking, like, ten motherfuckers, like, calling me a bad person. and Or not bad person, but, like, saying that I'm an idiot and victim-blaming Katie. I was like, yo, dude, nah. No, I woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. We are not doing this, dude. We are not doing this. Uh, yeah. Um, the unmentioned friend. There was a man who was there that I left out. He wasn't there for long. He left early, which is why I didn't mention him. I didn't even know his name. But here is a message from this guy. I've never spoken with him. This is simply a message he sent to someone who was in the room that night, too. And it is... All he really adds to the situation. He left before anything really happened. I'm currently watching George, 26, cuddle with Katie, 18. We cuddled. A lot of the touch was initiated by him. Probably not realizing it. I mean, he was literally spooning me from my from my left as I faced Ghosty in my right. <sighs> A lot of the cuddling he may have felt was personal, but was just me being drunk. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, bro. One time when I, was, when I was drunk, I was like, yo, guys, let's all hold hands. <laughs> also, when we all get drunk at my parties, we all WWE style wrestle, and then we all end up just chilling in on that bed, basically cuddling all together. So, you know. <laughs> he admitted that she wasn't into him at the elevators. I don't see someone switching up that fast if they like the person. Yes. Josh cooked them to a crisp. W. W. I won't blame you. Stronger than me. I would have gotten myself banned. LOL. Your parties are a fever dream, Chris. They are, dude. Love them. Love them, bro. I 100% agree with you that dream can suck a dick. LOL. I don't even care if he's a predator or anything. He's just a naive and immature asshole. Yes. Oh my God. Faux fubby. <laughs> You're making me feel so validated right now, dude. That one person that literally went in on me about dream being a victim. I was like, hey, listen. I'm sorry if Dream was a victim, but also, he's a piece of shit human being. Dude, Fufubi, you missed the end of the last drama. It's going to get uploaded on, uh, it's going to get uploaded probably tomorrow or the next day to the uh, YouTube channel, but it's the, um, the puns drama. Dream was a piece of shit in that situation, like literally a piece of shit, and that wasn't even him, like, making someone a victim. He was just being a piece of shit to one of his friends. Yeah, I don't know why people get so mad about fucking, like, Dream. I guess, again, it's kind of like the George Not Found thing where they're just defending a creator that they really love. Uh, Puns is a Minecraft YouTuber. He was on the Dream SMP. He got canceled, and then he kind of cleared his case. He's really, I think, one of the only people that made an apology in recent times that I actually am like, Oh, oh my god, I literally cannot tell who is in the right and wrong here because this person actually genuinely apologized and also, like... His apology compared to George Not Found and Wilbur's Well, I haven't seen George's new apology. Is a shining star. Yeah. The the it was it was a crazy thing. And then there was a crazy twist. Yeah. But yeah, fuck Dream. That was basically what I was getting at. Uh secondly, they also say he didn't do anything, but later he says himself confirming almost everything, but his only defense was that she didn't feel uncomfortable about it. Yeah, dude. It was weird. Um yeah. Okay, uh, was mostly just me being drunk. Everyone on the couch was doing the same thing. All drunk, close together, but I get it. I was drunk. I didn't think cuddling automatically meant it was to turn sexual. Dude, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. It absolutely does not mean to turn sexual. Um, unless I, every single fucking, like, encounter I've ever had cuddling, like, in anything outside of a relationship, right? was just completely wrong, and even sometimes, like, inside of relationships, cuddling does not equal sexual at all. Like, there have been so many times that I've, like, literally cuddled the homies, dude. You know what I'm saying? Uh, nobody's thinking that's going sexual. We're, yo, I'm cuddling another dude. Me, me and another fucking straight-ass fucking white dude cuddling, bro. You know? We ain't thinking we're gonna touch up on each other. We ain't thinking we're gonna touch up on each other. You know what I'm saying? We just drunk. You know what I'm saying? Me and Cam are being boys, okay? Nobody touching no worms. Yo, what's up, Gmod Gamer? Welcome back in, Gangsta. Um, 
my diet. Um, cocaine and pussy. <laughs> my bad. This is really bad to say in this. That was a joke, obviously. It was a joke, obviously. Dude, it consists of Mountain Dew. Uh, fucking, uh, fucking Cheetos, uh, mac and cheese, uh, and depression. Okay? That's what my diet consists of. Chris, I didn't care if you're straight, but still a valid point. Yo, thank you. He should have just apologized regardless if he thought he made her uncomfortable or not. She was uncomfortable. Exactly! Dude, that's what I was telling that guy that cuddling doesn't always lead to sex. He just like me for real. That's my diet. Whoa, Christian. Gay Christian arc? Yes, sir. It's super late where I am right now, so I'm gonna head out. I'll try to make it to some more of your streams. Keep up the content. Yo, Fafubi, I appreciate you so fucking much, dude. I totally get it, bro. Sleep well. Have a great day tomorrow. Thank you so much for coming through. Thank you for the kind words. Thanks for fucking hyping me up. I appreciate you, dude, just by being here. You fucking got me so fucking hyped up, bro. I appreciate you a ton, man. Yo, Josh, sleep well. Appreciate you. Link, sleep well. Have a great day tomorrow. Josh, you have a great day tomorrow, too. Okay. We have a hot Cheeto mac and cheese. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry. Let me continue. I don't know. I didn't know it was an invitation. I wasn't going to push him off in front of everyone. I'm going to be honest with you. At 18, I wouldn't know either, dude. I wouldn't know either. Uh, and I don't think it is. Again, I, I don't think that... Um, I don't think that cuddling equals sex. Is this a fire song? Hold on. Oh, it is. Okay, sorry. We had some fight music, and I was like, I don't think we need fight music for this. He took it a step further in front of everyone. Yeah, dude, this is... I can never do that shit, bro. I can never do that shit. Doing some shit like that, like, literally touching someone inappropriately in front of people. I'm gonna be honest, dude. Sometimes, like... Uh, like, I, I be thinking I'm doing too much PDA by, like, hugging my girlfriend in public. I'm like, ah! I'm like, it's fine, dude. We're all adults here. It's fine. All because he assumed things and assumed he had the right. As a shy person, I could not speak up in front of him and everyone else, let alone say yes. Even if you wanted to take a step forward sexually, why do it in the open? Yes, dude! Exactly! Exactly, bro. Exactly. Again, okay, let's say that George was drunk. Let's say that he thought 100% that she was into it. He could have came out and said, I am so, let me start out. Let me start out by saying, I am so very sorry in any way. If I hurt her in any way, I'm so sorry that she has to deal with this. I did not mean this at all. I'm very, very sorry. And I hope that you all can forgive me and that she can find a way one day to forgive me. Right? Immediately on the apology. Did he do that? No. No. You know, so this is, this is another reason why I'm not with George here. Again, um, he's also 26. He knows how to how, how to handle his alcohol way better than an 18-year-old will. You know what I'm saying? He has many years of drinking alcohol. Dude, that was another thing. One of the comments was like, uh, actually, she's been 18 for six months here. So this argument kind of falls apart. I was like, my man, uh, having someone's back that sexually assaulted a girl, uh, and it's different because uh, she's six months over 18, and he thought that she he could have thought that she was 21, is not a good look. If you're cautious about consent, why not ask? Yeah, if he thinks that verbal consent is needed, why not ask? That's usually the first step. And more important, why does everything have to get taken a step further? And may I reiterate that I was drunk? Yeah, that's fair. That's so fair, dude. Yeah, why does it have to be taken a step further? Also, another thing to mention is that she said she was a virgin, right? Which was creepy. Maybe she's going to address that at some point. That he, that somehow that came out, right? In my opinion, that's kind of creepy. Um, so she clearly doesn't have much experience with any of this shit at all, you know? Army recruiters at 18? I can't imagine this whole situation is real. Yeah, dude. Ima yeah, imagine. Yeah, dude, she is cooking him. I'm not going to lie. I think it's the feelings to try to impress the people around them and not wanting to look less cool in their head. In this situation, yes, that's really what she's saying. She's like, yo, I like, she tried to convince herself that she was like lucky for this situation. And that, like, you know, there were so many people in front of her. She didn't want to, like, say something or, or change the vibe, which I totally get. Dude, I totally get that. As an introverted, quiet person myself, I totally get that. And I would have done the same shit at 18. Put this in reverse roles, right? If a woman's doing this at, to me at 18, I, I'm probably reacting almost the exact same. I would have accepted his apology if... I was the victim if he would have just asked for forgiveness, but Buddy just straight went straight to denial. She has every right to hate him, but he had a better chance asking for forgiveness. This, yeah, and he even was like, yeah, uh, verbal consent is consent. And then he was like, but 
Verbal consent is consent, but... Always a but. Yes, I got up and sat in the same spot. Getting up to drink more, etc. Mentally, I believe in a room... I believe in a room on a sofa with people on it. You just sit back where you were when you get up. Mentally, I was also drunk. And even if I were... Oh, she could have moved. Sorry, I missed that point. Even if I were to move, that would be an obvious hit to his ego, to him and everyone in the room. A bold move I didn't need to make. I could just deal with it till the night was over. And I didn't and I didn't want someone I had watched for a while or with a large following to hate me or deny me to even sit near him. I didn't want to embarrass him or myself. I know it's a dumb thought process. I acknowledge it. See, I think this also goes back to well, one, yes, that would have been a bold move. I, again, me, even now in a situation like this, I probably would feel uncomfortable doing that. If I'm with a bunch of people that I don't know, maybe like one or two people and there's like five, six, seven, eight more other people and something like this happens to me, I would feel really uncomfortable doing that. I would literally have to leave, right? And it sounds like she does not know her way around here because she's been with her friends the whole time, you know, and it's not safe in Vegas being by yourself as a woman, at least from what I've heard, right? I don't know. I haven't experienced that. Obviously, I haven't experienced that myself. I'm not a fucking woman, you know? Um, and the other thing is this goes back to the whole, uh, theory of like, don't, this, this might be bad uh, coming from me because I met my girlfriend streaming, but don't engage with people that are your fans that like look up to you. Cause it sounds like a lot of like a majority of this would never have happened if she didn't know who he was, you know? I would have been scared to move too. Men scare me. That's why I won't go anywhere without Chris, especially if there's alcohol. Yeah, no, that's, that is fair. That is a hundred percent fair. Again, like I said last night, that's literally, I will not go anywhere unless I know homies are going to be there to have my back. And again, I, I'm not, uh, at risk, nearly as high risk of this shit. You know, she stayed when her friends left. I don't make the I didn't make the cons the conscious decision to choose to stay. My friend left throwing up in her hand, and I didn't know. She she was so drunk she couldn't hold in her vomit and passed out in our bathroom. Oh my god, bro. They too, dude. Too much alcohol, bro. Too too much alcohol. And again, at this point, they know at least one of them is a um not a minor, sorry, under the age of 21. And the more the night went on, the drunker I was, like I said before, I put up with it in the moment because I thought it was the price I had to pay to be around such big creators. Again, obviously, if she didn't know who these people were, uh, she wouldn't be doing half of the shit. You know what I'm saying? Those last three points, may I remind you, are not an invitation to be sexual or that I wanted it. And if he thought I did, he could have asked. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, he assumed because your body language. We had just met. Why did he think he knew me so well that he could assume how I felt? Assume he knew what my mechan or mannerisms meant. You didn't know me. Apparently, you didn't even know my age, but you knew what I wanted? No, he assumed it's what I wanted because why wouldn't I want that from someone like him? Yeah, someone with an eagle. A e ego, not an eagle. Doesn't have a bird. Let me clarify. Um, yeah, dude, a, a dude with a, a humongous ego, um, that thinks that almost every girl wants him. Uh, and remind me, since when was smiling an invitation? When was sitting next to someone an invitation? Since when was being drunk an invitation? <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, dude, she's cooking. She's cooking. I'm interested to see George's response. You know, after the puns thing, we got to wait and see. We got to wait and see. I don't know what's going to happen, dude. What's, we, we don't know. We got to wait. We gotta wait and see, you know, maybe George cooked in the, I'm not even gonna read the two paragraphs. Maybe he cooked. Yes. People with massive egos need to be checked constantly. I feel like the legal age of consent should be like 2021 20, with everyone else. Yes. I, I, I'm gonna be honest, yes. I feel like there should be like, at least like a category, you know? Like the legal age of consent for anyone, let's say, you know, to rent a, a van. Anyone 25 and below, you know, the legal age of consent for them is 18. Anyone 25 and above, the legal age of consent for them is 2021. 20, you know? Because I'm, I'm, I was so much different at 20 than I was at 18. I was so much different at 21 than I was at 20. 
Any laughing I did with my, with your hand under my clothes was out of nerves. Dude, that's so true, bro. I have nervous laughed so many times, not in sexual scenarios, um, but in scenarios where I'm uncomfortable, like just laughing. Like the time that dude yelled at me at fucking uh, Rural King because he thought I was following him. I just was like, no. And he was like, oh, it's fucking funny, huh? You know? How bad is the apology? We haven't got to the apology yet. We're just getting her side of it from responding to his apology. I just saw Sneeko shitting on Jinxie on Twitter. Now that beef is starting. Sorry, off topic. Oh, no, it's good, Gangsta. Well, is it recent? Or was it the other day? Because I think I already covered the other day. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. If their age, if their age still has the word teen in it, they are still a minor in my eyes. Yeah, dude, I, that's, that is so fucking fair. People who have 23 should not be having sex with someone 18 to 19. Yes, I agree. I agree. Uh, uh, any, let me just restart this. Any laughing I did with your hand under my clothes was out of nerves because I didn't think cuddling would result to that. And my shock left me speechless because I had never been to a guy's hotel room, never done anything sexual, and never expected that cuddling meant what it did. I didn't know if this, I didn't know if this was normal or not. You touched me for the first time. Ooh, dude, you gotta feel bad, like, even more bad that this was her first time doing any of this shit, because she's gonna have insane, not saying she definitely will, or, you know, speaking this on to her, but she probably will have PTSD the next time that she, like, cuddles with someone, and possibly, like, every time, or at least the next couple of times that anything like this happens, you know? And it's just so unfortunate. It's so, so unfortunate. It's so sad. Um... You're a fucking grown man who knows better. True? Absolutely true. He definitely has way more experience in these situations than her and knows that that does not mean what she is fucking saying or doing, you know? Did I say that right? He should know, like, that her cuddling does not automatically mean that she wants to have sex or be touched inappropriately. Why do I have to be strong and pull away or say stop? It's my fault because I was asking for it hinting at it i should have known but never his for not being able to ask a simple question before doing it at his age silence can be consent a head nod is silent confirmation in order for confirmation to happen it needs to follow a question a question that was never asked again fucking true he's a full grown ass adult he should know better he should know better without a doubt he should know better without a doubt and also the victim blaming is crazy bro the victim blaming is crazy, dude. We need to we need to get these fucking I hate to say this word, right? Because I don't want to minimize people, right? Or you know, put them in a group and write them off. But we need to get the fucking incels under fucking uh, under check here, dude. We need to get the incels reined in here, bro. Don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna call you an incel because you watch Aiden Ross or Sneeko or Andrew Tate. I'm not gonna write you off that quickly here, right? But if you're saying things like she was asking for it or hinting at it or she should have known better. I, I think you're in a fucking uh, incel type mindset and you need to check yourself. You need to think for yourself and you need to get some fucking empathy here. You know what I'm saying? So when I think just saying that Jinxie was trying to make him look bad with the questions that were asked. Oh, Jesus Christ. I need to w just watch that whole podcast on stream, dude. Fuck it. And how is a drunk person supposed to consent? You think I was in the power to consent a 26-year-old man to touch me because I laughed? But he was drunk too. Personally, when I'm drunk, I don't stick my hand under people's clothes on a couch in a room full of other people without asking. That's just me though. Literally true. Literally true, bro. Everyone in the room could verify she was uncomfortable or she was comfortable. My text the day after. I want to make sure you're okay. I didn't like the way George was so touchy and told told me about the shirt thing and i just want to make sure you're all right yes i'm okay it was definitely a bit weird but i was drunk so i didn't feel like doing anything to stop it anyways and it's over now so and then this one hey buddy i wanted to double check with you that george didn't make you uncomfortable at all last night i saw he was getting really touchy with you so i w just wanted to double check smile maybe bro i have no clue like in the moment i was chilling but Thinking back on it, I'm sweating a little bit, like, damn. And especially after verifying, so he knew I was 18. What now, YouTube comments? What now, YouTube comments? She thought, he thought she was 21 because of the wristband. What now? What now? Huh? What now? 
cooked. Literally cooked. And I also don't know if I was chilling in the moment because I was drunk. I don't know. I have to ponder on it or just forget about it because it's over with. Lol. Can we burn George's house down in Minecraft? She's going to feel this for a very long time in other intimate situations. High drunk in the shower in depressive episodes. Anything like this can come back for no good reason and make her spiral. Fuck him. Fuck his friends. They deserve a lot, a lot more than hell. Yo, real as fuck. And again, yo, somebody, that was another thing in the YouTube comments. Again, I'm sorry that this is bothering me so much because I'm so usually like, I don't let comments bother me. I don't let people in chat bother me, whatever. But I think it was just the victim blaming that pissed me off so much. Um, fuck. Somebody was like, oh, don't be so quick to write off George Not Found like apologists. No, fuck them. Fuck them. If you stand with George Not Found in this situation, again, I really hope you fucking take some time to reevaluate yourself. I'm not going to straight up say, fuck you, okay? I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to call you an insult. I'm not going to call you a piece of shit, okay? I just really hope that you take some time to reevaluate your stance on this and you try and have some more empathy and you look at this from a different point of view. What if this was your daughter? What if this was your daughter? What if this was one of your close friends? Forget the fact that you've watched George Not Found for a while and you feel some sort of connection to him or parasocial connection to him and think about if this was your close friend or your daughter. It's that boy. Yo, what's up, dad boy? Gangsta? Wait, dad boy, did you do a rebrand? Welcome in, bro. Oh my god, you did. What's up? Um. Okay. The after verifying I was 18 refers to a question I answered during a drinking game. I will explain later. Oh my god, cooked. Dude! Austin! I've never agreed with something so much in my life, brother. Someone literally tried to rewrite the definition of consent in your comment section. Yes, dude. They literally did. Yeah, new name for my content. Something more unique. Dude, fuck yeah. I love it, bro. I love it. Um, I'm going to call you. Is it cool if I call you Dig from now on? Is that cool with you? Wait, it's Diggy. Is, that cool? is it cool if I call you Diggy or Dig? But yeah, bro. Sorry you're joining in at kind of a weird time. We're covering the um, George Not Found controversy right now and the response from the victim. Um... Of course, I played it down with my responses at the time. I was embarrassed. I wanted to seem cool because I had never... Chat, I'm sorry. My internet went out there for a second again. Let me let me go back. Sorry, any YouTube frogs that had to see the Twitch fucking thing that was like, disconnected. Okay, Um, I didn't understand what I felt, but I knew I felt off. Uh, let me refresh the chat really quickly. Um, there we go. Okay, cool. And the friends in the room were some of the last people I came out about how it affected me because I was embarrassed at my inexperience, embarrassed at the fact it was out in the open, scared to react when it happened because with any reason I showed, with any reaction I showed had an audience as he made his move in a room full of people. Yeah, that is weird. Chat cooked? OBS cooked? Uh, it, my internet was cooked. Hold on. Let me go back to the shadow realm really quickly and fix it. DV? DV? Dude, this shit's so old. It's called chat March 2022. Oh, domestic violence? No, uh, sexual assault. This is sexual assault. Yeah. Um... But let me remind you that their initial gut reaction by simply being in the same room and seeing the situation was them messaging me the next day worried, asking if I was okay before they had talked to me about how I felt. They felt gross. Good luck, Lumberg. I love you. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah, dig. This shit is this shit is crazy, bro. Um, the wristband. Yes, yes, yes. Let's get clarity on this. Because this is a big thing that people were arguing about. Uh, okay, I would like to to mention another girl I didn't mention because, like the other guy, she left really early into the night. I'm admitting I didn't mention her because she only tagged along one night and didn't do much. I also didn't know her too well. She was friends with Clay and the girl talking to him. I haven't messaged her since that night until today when she reached out. Her and her messages about slash from that night her messages to me today 
and uh, SS of the group chat with just Clay in it. Yo, I just want to say it's crazy because we were literally saying this during um, the talking about the George Not Found response is we needed another party's experience from this night and what they thought of it. And we literally got two. We got two. Okay, what's this? Okay, uh, I'm like watching his stream for the first time right now and I'm losing my mind because the photo he thinks is you is my wristband. Oh my god! Also sounds good tomorrow. It is clear that she sent the message in the chat. Obviously, it being her hand. No room for confusion on it being my hand. And once again, he was not even in the group chat to see it. Only Clay. And even if he just assumed we were all 21 because one of us was, all these assumptions could have been cleared up pretty quick with a question. From that text? Oh, yeah, I got you. Wait, can I do that? Can I open this in a new tab? Yeah, open a new tab. Here you go. Let me get you. Let me get you right. Yeah. So this is this is the text. This is this was in his video, by the way. Too short to aim for the head. Yeah, and then loose ass twenty one plus bracelet. Uh we have a strat. And that that this is what he showed in his video or his yeah, his video on his stream. Um, okay. The party we were at we're at and where the wristband talk initiated from was an 18 plus party that you needed a band to enter we had asked people around us for a wristband to enter the party not a 21 wristband to drink as you see in the pictures a 21 wristband was given by staff after seeing id and after entry the wristbands were asking the wristbands were we were asking around for and searching for was just entry to the party even if he thought I was asking around for a 21 plus wristband, that would only prove that I was underage. Again, neither guys were at the party. We didn't end up staying at the party because we couldn't get wristbands for everyone. Only a few of us got in. My one friend gave theirs to me so I could walk in and see a creator party for the first time. But I left immediately. And after taking a video... Hold on, let me... Let me not get us into Skyrim battle music. Yo. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Perfect, perfect. Sorry, sidetracked. After taking a video or two, knowing Ghosty and other friends were sitting outside unable to get in. With the wristbands cut off by staff as we left, I didn't even have a party wristband on any time I met with them after in the room, let alone a 21 age one. Holy fuck. Cooked. I beg you all to watch my vlog from VidCon documenting video of this party and the wristband being cut off in the vlog. Bro. Bro. Yeah. They clear yo. Yeah, dude, it's Jover. It's Jover. It's Jover for him and his apologist, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Featured creator parties. We partnered with some great brands to bring you Okay. Uh, this is the one that's highlighted. Instagram night out. Oh shit. City National Grove of Anaheim. Uh, Instagram invites you to end your Friday on an epic note at Instagram Night Out with a certain Billboard charting top, Billboard chart topping hip hop phenom. Head to the city National Grove of Anaheim on Friday, June 23rd at 8 p.m. for a fun night with all your VidCon besties. Age 16 plus. Guests under the age of 18 must be. A oh my God, there's no way, bro's cooked. I thought she was 21. <laughs> Dude, this motherfucker is cooked. The girl who left early also sent me this message today. It is her conversation with Clay that night before she left the room, as she recalls it to a friend a few days later. I typed a message on my phone and showed it to Clay, being like, does George realize there's eight years between him and Katie? And he, like, looks at me deadpan and is like, I don't see why it matters. I'm like, oh, okay. He was drunk, so I do not fault him for what they, what he may have responded with, as maybe he wasn't thinking right, as I had not been able to while intoxicated. This is also her recalling, 
So it could be wrong or untruthful, but I don't believe she has reason to lie simply messaging a friend a few days later, especially when at the time of that text and up until I came out public about it, she didn't even know anything about anything. No, anything happened that night. She left before. Dude's cooked. Dude is cooked. Dude is cooked. Ah, uh, the vlog. Ah, uh, let me close this. Let me get, wait. So this should come up, right? Hey, there's me. What is, hold on. Is this a single Z? Katie, Katie Books? Katie Books? Katie Books? Where are you? Madam? Okay, let me try Caddy's Bugs VidCon Vlog. There we go. Got it. Oh, it's only three minutes? Beautiful. Ah! Ah! Copyright! Yo, W Water Parks, though. W Water Parks, though. Uh, let's see here. Do we have it anywhere? Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god. It's water parks. We can't listen to it, bro. UMG's gonna come for my fucking life. Watch him sometime? Oh my god, stop. Oh my god. No, I can't watch that dork. <laughs> he's funny, I'll watch. Huh. He's not funny, dude. He's so lame, dude. Huh. He's so lame. Okay, I, I don't think we're finding her. But I do believe her. I do believe her in this case. I'm sure if you... Wait. Oh, is it coming up right now? Yes! Oh my god. Yo. It's literally... It's literally... Hold on. That is literally her name. That is literally her name right there. They can't even be like, oh, it's someone else. This is literally her name. That's the wristband going bye-bye. Yeah, we'll leave a like on this. Yep. Yep, we'll leave a like on this. W. Why must they take the music we love? I actually think Water Parks is okay. I just don't want this fucking... VOD to get completely cooked. I don't know if it affects the algorithm at all, so we're gonna play by the rules. Uh, the night the game we were playing the night? That night? Oh, my bad. Sorry, 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 sorry. Been live for like six hours. I have brain rot. I've been reading a lot. That night the game we were playing asked who was the last to lose their virginity, aka youngest. This is when I said me because I was 18 and still was a virgin. This is also when Clay chimed in to argue for his best friend and say along the lines of, well, he lost his at 19. You aren't that old yet, so he technically would still drink, and he drank. I assume this meant he was listening, but maybe he wasn't. I remember this question. I remember this questions because of the text I sent and because it's something I'll never forget. Yes, I know it's hard. I know it's hard to remember a question like that, thinking back now, but that night he couldn't have forgotten it that quick. Remembering back to my answer just an hour slash minutes prior before making a move didn't seem impossible. With him saying, I didn't remember what happened that night and nitpicking my story apart with his great drunk memory. I wonder how he can't remember the most important part of it all, aka me saying my age. Dude. Holy shit, bro. She's cooking his ass. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, he, uh, yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. By the way, I'm going to leave the TF2 page here. Okay, gangsta. I don't think he's, yeah, that's crazy, by the way. The fact that he can remember the most important part. Um, but he can remember all the other parts of the story. I don't think he's dumb. I think even... I mean, to be fair, play even fair, he could have drank a lot of alcohol and been out of it a little bit, okay? In this moment, maybe he was really fucking drunk here and came back down, but it's uh, trying to take his word completely from the night over hers in this scenario. Mm, no, I'm good, dude. I'm, I'm going to take her word for it and also give her the benefit of the doubt considering the fact that everywhere else, he she is cooking him, cooking him. Um, I don't think he's dumb. I think even if he was talking to someone, especially in instant DMs, he would check for an age or at least see a bio. Someone who is, 
so concerned about consent wouldn't be so naive. Someone with such a big platform wouldn't risk it unless they knew they could pull the I don't know card. Yes, dude. Yes. I think he has an ego. I think he knows he has clout. I think he knows he's a pretty British boy. So he thinks he can get away with this shit. Her friends influence her because they hate us. I wonder why their hatred grew because of what happened to me. These situations always end in victim blame. If I didn't do this, she shouldn't have worn that. She shouldn't have been drinking. She was asking for it. We are embedded into a society to cover for assault. It's what we are built on. It's easy to say what I should have done looking from the outside, not being the one in the situation. In the moment, it's also easier to think of how I could have gotten out of the situation now that I'm not in it. And now that I am sober and can make clear choices. I want this situation to circle back the original point to make aware the reality that many girls face in this community. That many people are forced into silence. Dude, I think she's hitting the fucking nail on the head right now, bro. Again, there is so much, bro. There's so much fucking victim blaming, bro, that I've experienced in and out of the internet, dude. Um, Yeah. Oh, oh, she shouldn't have been drinking. She was asking for it. Oh, she shouldn't have worn that. No, dude, you should have fucking control and be a normal fucking human being is what should have happened, dude. And then people being like, well, she could have got out of it. Like, bro, she's 18 and doesn't know what the fuck's going on and she's drunk. Fuck you, you know? Proof for all the jumbos in the future comments about the wristband thing being a lie. Dude, I'm about... Yo, I'm, <laughs> I'm about to be on some petty shit. I'm about to upload this shit, and then I'm about to link it to all the motherfuckers that were talking shit to me. It's easy to say what... I, oh, which, if you're one of those motherfuckers, hey, what's up? Hope you fucking... Hope you stop being a piece of shit. I believe you can stop being a piece of shit. I don't even think you're a piece of shit. I think you're just defending someone you got a parasocial relationship with. Let's fucking not fucking be that way anymore. Uh, and I believe in you and that you can do that. And I'll be proud of you when you do that. Um, It's not petty drama, but real life people that have been affected. So it's not the puns drama. Sorry. No, pun... There could be some reality to that. Um... I just don't want victims to feel they have to prove themselves to people to be believed. True. That they are only valid if they had proof. I believe you. My story was a bit different because it was on such a wide scale with a big audience. Yes, I know I do not owe it. Victims don't owe anything to anyone. But with my unique situation, I had to give proof nonetheless considering the circumstances. I'll accept if people don't believe me. I've said all. All there is. Riot? I'm gonna trust a motherfucker who supplies proof instead of words of a sentient guitar stand. <laughs> this comment section is gonna be fun on God. Right? I'm glad she held back her proof until the guy messed up and lied about everything. Easier to call him a liar. Yes. 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 It was beautiful. It was beautiful, dude. I'm not gonna lie. The yeah. On on Katie's part. Uh I also want to note that those who make fake allegations to platform someone or to seek attention are scum. Yes, dude. Yes. Um, You are the reason people choose to never come out with their stories. You are the reason there is distrust in coming forwards about these situations. I hope you rot. Yes. Yes. Dude, fuck that Emma person, bro. That tried to fucking take out. I'm mixing up Tubbo and Rambo again. It's Tubbo, though, right? Tubbo was the one that got falsely accused. I find it funny when people say victims do this for clout because I can promise you anyone who had come forward about something like this knows the large sum of what you receive is endless hate and it becomes what you're known for. It's the price you have to pay to speak up. Dude, that's literally what fucking happened um, when I looked up her name on YouTube. You have to pay to speak up. Okay, Um, this will be the only proof or response I have as I don't have energy and have said all I have to say. Any responses further on from now, I will not be responding to because I am physically away and also mentally taking a, taking a break. My comments on platforms are flooded with hate, so I cannot say I'll be active anywhere else, but I see the support. I appreciate you all. I just hoped some people would realize how so many 
unknown things go on behind the scenes and how dangerous blind idolism is. I, but I suppose it's an issue that will take much more time. Yeah, dude, blind idolization is fucking crazy. Fucking crazy. I used to do that shit too, honestly. Honestly, and then I found out that some of my idols were just fucking real normal ass people. Trutris, for example. Completely fucked me over. <laughs> one of my one of the first people I, ever in my life that I idolized. And most importantly, this isn't a one time thing. The larger creators that have reached out about their own stories concerning them are still too scared of them to come forward. They make me sick. Women who have been friends with them, people I watch, people I've never spoken to, and people I have this is so much bigger than me. I wish they find peace. Yo, on God, dude. On God. On my phone now, I'll finish any tomorrow. And this video will be ready for you. It's going to be decent, but I give all credit to your funny friends. Yeah, Olenberg, I love you. Thank you, gangsta. There is a reason people... Also, sleep well whenever you do, bro. There is a reason people have distanced themselves from these men. <laughs> Clearly, there's a reason other creators act like they do. My experience is simply the only one public, and no creator owes it to anyone to share their experiences experience with them. I just wish it was more obvious seeing the people who have distanced themselves and the people who still surround the surround who still surround them to this day. We think that like Tommy well clearly Schlatt has distanced himself. We think that Tommy in it distanced himself too. What is my computer loading right now, by the way, dude? I will be away for a week and then I will stream a final statement. So once again you can hear my voice and sincerity and probably my final statement on it all. Yo, W bro? W dude. Dude. This girl is a gangster, bro. She's, dude. She's a gangster, bro. What a W, dude. What a W. Stand on business. Fucking stand up for herself. Fucking, you know, doing what she knows is right. And stand up for other people. I want to continue my content, music, videos, and supporting you guys. I don't want to let this define me or stop me simply because it happened to me. But there is a lot more to be said before I can make my peace. And I don't know how long I will take in returning to the internet once all has been said. I wish the best for you all and healing. There's no way. Hold on. Let's look at this fucking brain dead take. I don't get why this drama had to be made public and expressed publicly. You, Yo, this dude did not read this shit. You and George could have just said to each other, Hey man, last night I was really uncomfortable with what you... D yo, this dude ha did not fucking read any of this. Dude, we are definitely... um, We are definitely gonna get a shit ton of fucking uh, hate comments on this shit, dude. Without a doubt. For all you Katie supporters who will genuinely cry in the replies, get a life you know and I know. SA is a massive problem, but none of and we... But none of, and we both can agree, should be brought to social media. The free world has disadvantages. We move on and we improve. Underlying the situation doesn't help, but I'm only expressing my interest on why this situation was brought to social media in the first place, even though it could have been resolved privately. Holy shit, this guy's dumb as rocks. It's not that simple. It has to be brought to Twitter. It must be shown publicly. We get SA is a massive problem within women... Within women? Nah. But don't add to the problem. Consent is not well understood. What? It's not taught well enough in schools. Dude, they don't teach you a lot of shit in schools. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't understand things. If you want people to learn about it, then teach them. What is this guy saying? Instead of making a whole fucking drama over it. This isn't drama. Trying to get George canceled because you want to look like a hero of the Academy. What? She was okay with it for a month. Holy shit! Bring it to social media to make people aware that their idol is a piece of shit and to warn women about these motherfuckers. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. Motherfucker, everyone should know if someone is a creep. Yes! Consent this gun, motherfucker! Put that guy on a watch list. Hold on, let me, let me look at this guy. Let me look at this guy. Let's see what he got to say. Let's see. Okay, fuck cancer. Okay, this guy's this guy's real as fuck. Uh, okay, he literally follows no one. I'm looking to see. I'm looking for. There's no way he follows Jacksepticeye. Why? Why? 
Dude, all I'm going to say is Jacksepticeye would definitely tell this guy to go fuck himself. He would definitely tell this guy to go fuck himself, bro. In my personal opinion. Um, okay. Oh, we aren't even done, dude. I almost just act. I almost said, uh, final closing thoughts. Let's see what George had to say. Since reading Katie's newest post, my perspective on the night and my overall conclusion has massively changed as she introduced new information that I was not aware of at all before. Oh, she introduced new information about what the fuck I did. What the fuck? What the fuck? I have much more I will say, but for now, Katie, I am sorry. I am so sorry. I really hope you can hear my words and try to understand that I did not have any bad intentions. That does not change the fact that you were hurt. I will be saying more soon. Brother man. Brother man. There is no way. There is no way. Bro, I'm losing my voice. I'm going to so much. Dude, I do. I, I know at least one good Ben. Actually, no, I know two. The vocalist of the last Bison's name is Ben. He's really cool. Um, dude, what about, yeah, PRR response, what about that statement changed her original statement of her crying on stream and shaking, dude? Fuck George not found, bro. Fuck this pussy. Yeah, he had time for accountability. Accountability? Yeah, he missed his opportunity to apologize. If he got on stream, he was like, guys, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to Katie. I didn't realize what I had fucking done. I'm so sorry. I was fucking drunk. That's my bad. I should have fucking realized the fucking, you know, that this was not consent. And I'm so sorry. I will never do anything like this again. I'm going to distance myself. I'm going to get off the internet. I'm going to get therapy. I'm going to make sure that I ask consent in any situation like this ever again. I'm going to try not to fucking be in the party scene anymore. I'm going to fucking not drink for a year. Like something like that, right? It doesn't even have to be that extreme, right? But shit like that. In his first statement. Okay, man. You really do feel bad. We can tell. We can see that you're upset. You, we can see that you're upset that you hurt someone. You're taking it seriously. All right, man. All right, I get it. This? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, I don't I don't believe it. I don't believe that he's serious. I don't believe that he's genuine. I think he's just fucking covering his ass. I think he's covering his fucking ass, dude. Uh, yeah, we're going to follow. Um, Katie, though. Dude, poor girl, bro. Poor girl. Poor girl. That's all I really have to say. Katie got the short end of the stick. Um, she is getting motherfuckers shitting on her constantly, like that dumbass that we were looking at there. Um, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Oh, okay. This was yeah. She she responded here. Um. Oh, our abuser is not the same. Dude. W. Shelby speaking up, though, man. W. Shelby speaking up. Um, I don't really have anything to say. I, I don't believe anything that George and I found is saying right now, dude. Um, I don't believe that he's genuinely sorry. Uh, Because if he was, he would have started out with that in his first apology. Um, I think it's past the time for apology or to accept that he's actually a, somewhat an okay human being. Um, I think he's a piece of shit. I think he thought he could get away with it. I think he thought he could lie through his fucking teeth. Uh, and anyone that surrounds themselves with George and Dream are shitty human beings. Anyone that has George and Dream's back are shitty human beings, in my opinion. And right now, I, again, anyone that is watching this, maybe this far in, uh, on the YouTube VOD, because I don't think anyone in this Twitch chat is a fucking Dream or George supporter. Um, I really hope that you can grow, you can look at life in a different way. I don't mean to attack you personally, I just think that your views are a little fucked up right now, okay? Reflect. Try and find some empathy. Again, think about if this was one of your best friends or your daughter in this situation. How would you feel about George Not Found then? If it was not a fucking personality on the internet, if this was some random dude at a random party with one of your best friends or your daughter, dude, how would you feel? How would you feel? Or your sister or your mother? How would you feel in this situation? 